My name is Christopher Castellini. I am a mentalist from Italy. I have muscular dystrophy. When I stopped walking around 19 years old, I started thinking that uh, it wasn't possible anymore to fulfill my dream. To perform one day in Las Vegas, but uh, I choose not to give up. As a mentalist, I've been able to focus my mind and make it stronger, even as my body grows weak. My disease has been a teacher for me. Enjoy life, enjoy this very precise moment, because you don't know how many other moments like this you'll have. And I'm here to shoot in Las Vegas for Penn and Teller. That's something amazing and unbelievable for me. And I'm very happy to be here. Italian magician Christopher Castellini. The first message in a bottle was sent 300 years before Christ by a Greek philosopher. His name was Theophrastus. He was convinced of this crazy idea. Everything that happens in the universe happens for a reason. And to test his idea, Theophrastus, this philosopher, wrote a message. He put that message inside a bottle and he threw that bottle in the sea, waiting all his life for what he expected to be the amazing discovery of that bottle. But unfortunately, the first message in a bottle was never found. And the experiment of that answered Greek philosopher was never attempted again until this night here in Las Vegas. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? David. David, very nice to meet you, David. And what's your name? I'm Laura. Laura, so David and Laura. to think of a number. It can be any number between one and 10. What is the number you are thinking? Six. Number six. David, you have your finger on the first line, right? Please take any word from that line, any word, which has at least six letters. Yes or no, you have a word? Yes, sir. Can you please confirm that if she would have told us two, three, four, or any other number, it will have been a completely different word, right? Yes. Can you please read the actual word that you, you choose? Unexpected. Is this one? You, you're sure? Huh? Yes. Unexpected. Laura, could you please open the box that you're holding? Yes, open it. What's inside this box? A bottle um, that appears to have something inside. A bottle. Can you please start taking out this bottle? Yes. Looks like if there is a message inside. Please take out this message. There is a red seal. The word was unexpected. Please open the seal. And start unrolling this message. And
and the world is unexpected. Unexpected. As, as that philosopher used to say, everything, everything happens for a reason. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, thank you so much. I've been told that your magic has had to change, sort of as your body has changed. Absolutely, I started performing in close-up situation when I was just a little kid, when I, I, I could move, I could walk, you know? And slowly, slowly, my disease came to a point where I couldn't walk anymore. So I had a choice in front of me. I could stop magic or I could reinvent my magic. And I started working on, on mentalism, and this is what I do today, and I really love it. That's so cool. Yeah, so you, you're just not going to let anything hold you back. Our life is amazing. We can do amazing things in our life, and uh, a lot of time we just lose time complaining for what we don't have, but if we look at the amazing thing that we can actually do, then this is really fantastic. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So have you been on American TV before? This is my first time on American TV. I've been ma many times on Italian TV, but, oh. but they were on American. So thank you for, oh. for giving me this opportunity. It's, it's lovely to, to be here. Well, let's see if your performance gets you back here, huh? We will see. We will Let's see. Test the guys, what they thought. Ken, oh, yes. tell her. Oh, yes. Wonderful, Christopher, wonderful. Just a, just a fabulous act. You know, one of the things that's so important is that you're a uh, fabulous storyteller. Thank you, know, you so much. It's also having the confidence to just sit and tell a story. You know, a lot of people get worried about that and rush through. And just having that nice story to tell us is going to pay off at the end. Because, you know, when you come down to it, all art is storytelling. And that includes magic and everything else. And I consider myself a, uh, a little bit well-read. I try to read a lot of books. But I'm sure with the books you had there, if I were to go through, I'd find unexpected stuff on, on every page all through it. And the other thing that's interesting about this is that it seems to be to lay people to be about words. But to a magician watching carefully, it's also about numbers. You're at a little bit of a disadvantage here because Teller and I do a, what this is called among magicians, a book test. And we did a book test in our show, although we decided to do it with joke books and do it with books that are more profound, probably a better idea. But looking through that, we found an awful lot of the methods and we think that we, uh, we have it covered there. I hope with the language difference, you saw some of the stuff I was trying to, to slip by you there. Uh, but I don't think we fooled you. No, the other way around. I don't think you fooled <laughs> us. We probably didn't fool you either. Okay. I, I think you, you got the, the point. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Of course, of I want, it's such a beautiful trick. I didn't want to do more. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. When we come back, I'm going to do a trick. I'll make Penn and Teller appear right here and perform. You don't want to miss it.